Why would you ever want to visit a car dealership when it's snowing out like today on Halloween? Hey everyone, it's Joel Runk here with BMW of Minnetonka. Well, the reason is, is because weather like this is the true test for how any vehicle performs during the winter months. And today we're going to break down how the X-Drive on BMW is superior to other all-wheel drive systems on competing brands. Let's take a look. All right, so let's break down the different brands here. We're going to start with the German brands here, and then we're going to kind of work our way up to some of the domestic brands as well. So BMW's, BMW's all-wheel drive system is known as the X-Drive, and this will start vectoring torque at 1,250 RPM. That's when it's going to start moving different amounts of power to different, different wheels right here, okay? And the unique thing with BMW's X-Drive system is if need be, it can send 100% of all available power to the back axle, and if need be, it can send 100% of the power to one individual wheel in the back. That's gonna be the key difference versus all these other brands up here. Uh, Mercedes, the 4MATIC system, is going to be more delayed. That will start sending torque at 1,750 RPM. Quattro is a really great system. Um, it's still going to be more delayed than BMW. It's going to start sending torque at about 1,500 RPM. And versus BMW, where it can send 100% of the torque to the back axle, the Audi Quattro system is going to be able to send uh, 85 percent so 15 percent less than the X drive system so that's where the BMW is going to ha especially have an edge especially during snow and ice makes a big difference because keep in mind as I said in another video uh, the X drive can also apply brakes independently all right um, the other brand we're going to look at is Porsche in many cases like on the Macan um, you'll get an all-wheel drive system, but if you want a torque vectoring system, in a lot of cases, you'll have to spend at least $1,500 extra dollars to get what is called PTM, or Porsche Traction Management. If you don't get this, you're going to get an axle-based all-wheel drive system, meaning that the back wheels are going to turn at the same rotational speed. All right, they're gonna get the same amount of power, uh, can't split the torque in the back. That'll make a difference if you slide out. Um, it'll change the time as to when the vehicle can correct on snow and ice. So, you know, a lot of people will look at a Porsche, it's all wheel drive, but does it have torque vectoring? In a lot of cases on a lot of models, it is not standard. Uh, moving over to Acura, their system is the SH all wheel drive system and it's a really good system. Acura was the first one to come out with a torque vectoring all-wheel drive system. Unlike the BMW that sends 100% of the torque if need be to the back, the Acura though can only do 70%. So again, a key difference. Moving over to the domestic side of things, we have Lincoln and their system is the intelligent all-wheel drive system. Um, but with Lincoln, they can't send 100% of all power to the back and to one individual wheel. So it can't send all individual, po all available power to one wheel in the back if need be. Again, the X-Drive has the S, has the edge. The X-Drive system has the edge there. Um, Cadillac, this is going to be an axle-based all-wheel drive system. And again, when there's slippage in the back wheels or on one of the axles, it's gonna send power to that axle and those wheels will turn at the same rotational speed. Because keep in mind, the BMW again can change the amount of power to the wheels. And again, 100% of all power can go to any one of these wheels if need be. Uh, the Cadillac system can't do that. Now, to be clear, these are all great brands. They're phenomenal cars. Um, if you're looking for that extra edge or you're wondering what makes a BMW stand out, again, you know, snow and ice, Minnesota winter weather is the true test for any cars. And based on the training I've had, based on the seat time I've had and all these other brands right here, and based on the research, training, and data uh, with BMW corporate, this is why the X-Drive has the edge because of its torque vectoring capability, the ability to apply brakes independently, 
Um, and again, if need be, uh, its ability to send 100% of all system power to one of the wheels because the X drive can do uh, a number of things. It's going to continuously measure the rotational speed of each wheel, uh, the throttle input, and the steering angle. And that's where this system really outperforms uh, the other brands and gives it that competitive edge. Um, to experience the X drive system yourself, especially on a day like today, call me. 952-295-4970.